Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video, I'm going to be discussing things that terrify Narciss. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Things that terrify Narciss. A Narciss will often be terrified when they have done something to someone, or they are hiding something, or they are doing something illegal. Narciss often engage in illegal activities or things that could be harmful or unfavorable to other people. Things that might encourage or stir up violence. Narciss often push and provoke people to the point where they could be putting themselves in danger. Because of this, they can become paranoid. Narciss are often very impulsive and don't consider the consequences of their actions. Although they know what they are doing is wrong, they know that they shouldn't be doing what they are doing. There are times when people find out about what is going on, or they find out about the narcissist's illegal activity. Naturally, once they have discovered what the narcissist is doing, or hiding from them, they want to get revenge on them. Narcissists have done really bad things to people, and they know what they have done. They are paranoid that eventually it's going to catch up to them, and people are going to want revenge. Following engaging in an activity that is illegal or harmful or unfavorable to someone else, the narcissist will often be in a state of arrogance or self-importance. When they do something harmful or unfavorable to someone else, they see it as an achievement. They derive feelings of deep pleasure or satisfaction from these achievements. When they are in this state of arrogance or self-importance, where they feel as though they are untouchable, this is actually when they are most vulnerable. This is when they are exposed to the possibility of being harmed or in danger. Because they are not thinking about the consequences of their actions or the possibility of someone taking revenge on them. Narcissists are paranoid and hypervigilant, but in this state of arrogance or self-importance, they are not looking for the potential consequences or unfavorable possibilities. And this is when you are able to shut them down or expose them, and they never would have expected it. Because in that moment, they felt as though they were untouchable. They were lost in their feelings of pleasure or satisfaction from doing something harmful or unfavorable to you, which locked them into a distorted reality, a fantasy world, where they feel like they can do whatever they want to you and get away with it. This is when they are most vulnerable and most likely to expose themselves. Narcissists are terrified of being exposed. They are afraid of the potential consequences resulting from their actions. This is why they will try to hide what they are doing or they will deny it. They will become fearful and angry if you threaten to expose them. A lot of narcissists are involved in illegal activities. You might think you know a lot about what the narcissist is doing, but most often what you know is only the tip of the iceberg. You would be shocked to know some of the things that these people are involved in. Narcissists are always hiding something within them. What they display to you on the surface is very different to the, the perspective, thought process, 
purpose and intentions they hold within. On the outside they are feeding you a false perception of how they really think or feel. They want to be regarded, understood or interpreted in a certain way which will not be authentic or genuine to their true perspective, thought process, purpose and intentions. They create orchestrations and strategically coordinate the elements of a situation to control what you see or hear, which then gives them the ability to control or manage your thoughts, feelings and beliefs. When you are around a narcissist, they will manage your perceptions. Everything you see, hear or become aware of through your senses will be managed or controlled by them to produce their desired effect or response from you. Most of their arguments are nothing more than a, dis a distraction from the real truth behind the argument or disagreement. Whatever the narcissist is displaying to you or saying to other people about you, they always have an, uh, an ulterior motive. If they are willingly choosing to, to display something to you, it's not the real truth. There is always something going on beneath the surface, something they don't want you to know. But they will create a false truth and use that as a reason or excuse to distract you from the real truth behind the argument or disagreement. Narcissists fear intimacy. They attach you to them, but they do not attach to you. If they attach to you, their needs would not be met as efficiently. Narcissists have to reject intimacy. They don't have a choice. Intimacy involves vulnerability. If the narcissist was intimate with you, it could potentially expose their vulnerabilities, weaknesses and insecurities. They would be destroying their own illusion of value or significance. If the narcissist was to undress, whether literally or not, they would be exposing their flaws and imperfections. They would be giving you the opportunity to see them for what they are. Narcissists fear intimacy because it could, it could expose the real person behind the mask and destroy their illusion of value, value or significance. Narcissists are terrified of being rejected or abandoned. If you are thinking of leaving the narcissist, they will argue with you and make it very difficult for you to leave. They might cause problems for you in your work or take your money so that you can't afford to leave them. If you do plan on leaving the narcissist, they will enforce fly monkeys and create a smear campaign. When you reject the narcissist, you are rejecting what they have carefully constructed to impress you. The narcissist's purpose for existing is to obtain narcissistic supply. Narcissists are completely dependent on your attention, validation and admiration. If they cannot impress you or get you to validate or admire them, they are forced to confront the emptiness within them and reflect on their shame. Nothing scares them more than that. They will feel rejected or as though they are not enough. They will fight to the end to avoid self-reflection, even if it involves destroying you in the process. Narcissists hate to be ignored. When you do not give them any attention, validation or admiration, they feel as though they don't exist. This is why many narcissists would prefer to be hated 
rather than being ignored. It's still attention and you are acknowledging that they still exist. When you ignore a narcissist, they feel as though they do not exist and they are forced to reflect on the emptiness inside of them. Narcissists are terrified of being humiliated. When you make fun of a narcissist, even if it is not intended to hurt or offend them, they will feel ashamed or foolish, as though you have injured their dignity or pride. They will exploit and humiliate you to no end, and laugh at your pain or discomfort especially if they were the cause of it, but they cannot laugh at themselves. Narcissists are highly sensitive and take themselves very seriously. They cannot laugh at themselves or jokes about them because they are not self-validated. Self they are dependent on the attention and admiration of everyone around them. Narcissists hate to be disrespected. This is something they think about all the time and they imagine that people are making personal attacks on them, even when they're not. This is the result of their inner critic or inner dialogue. Narcissists are not self-validated, so any personal attacks, whether real or imagined, will deeply offend them. They are dependent on the attention and admiration of everyone around them. Disrespecting a narcissist pulls them back into reality and makes them feel small and insignificant. To deal with this, the narcissist will deny the existence of something inside them and attribute it to you or someone else. They will distort your perception of reality to the point that you question your sanity or memory. They will manufacture or invent a fake story or orchestration to deceive you. They will display false affection so that you might validate or admire them. This is all designed to manage any potential disrespect and help them to obtain the attention, validation and admiration they are so dependent on to sustain their false selves. Narcissists are terrified of aging. They fear aging because it means a loss of looks, career, health and even narcissistic supply. The narcissist looks, career, health and sources of supply are proof to them that they are still something of value or significance. They are still worthy or deserving of admiration or respect. Somatic narcissists base their value and significance on their appearance or their sexual market value. They spend their lives concerned with this and once it goes they have nothing left. Cerebral narcissists are focused on their intellectual ability or business. This will last a lot longer than the somatic narcissist appearance or sexual market value, but eventually the cerebral narcissist mind may not be as sharp as it once was, or they may be forced to retire. The cerebral narcissist's entire identity is based on their intellectual ability or business. Once that is gone, they have no identity as they haven't even begun to work on anything else in their lives. Narcissists fear death. They fear death because they will no longer be able to obtain narcissistic supply. I believe that they also fear hell because they know that they have abused and manipulated so many people and believe that they could be held accountable for their actions after this life. 
You may notice that Narcissus often become religious or spiritual in their old age. I believe that this is a result of their fear of death. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfibercoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up through our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narc Survivor merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.